ought to tell you that I dreamed of killing all the people I ever lived with, including the policemen in Cal, several times, each one of them. So sooner or later, I was bound to do it at least once, someday. To his knowledge, she did her job well, and there was never any quarrel between the two of you in 21 years. She was a deaf mute. No one could have quarreled with her. <laughs> <laughs> she was very fat. And she slept every night like a log. And she ate a lot. Because when she ate like that and she walked about, I could not bear it. What I have just told you has something to do with my character. All I'm saying is that I'm the kind of person who cannot stand people stuffing themselves and sleeping well. It would have been just anybody who slept and ate like that, it would have been the same. So it was not because it was her that I could not stand it, it's because I can't stand it in anyone. And sometimes I had to leave the table. Have I told you how much I love the garden? You see, there, I was peaceful in the house. I could never be sure that she would not come up to me and kiss me. I did not like her kissing me. She was very fat, and the rooms are very small. I felt she was too fat for the house. Did you tell her? No. Why? Because it was only for me who saw that she was too fat for the house. And it was not only her. My husband used to be as thin as a beanpole, and I thought, he's too tall for the house. And sometimes I had to go out in the garden not to see his head bouncing off the ceiling. So you see, monsieur, that things were already a bit off in that house. Once, I was 25, and I was loved by this magnificent man. And I used to believe in God then. And I would go to Mass every day. And he was living with another woman, so because of that, I would not have anything to do. were madly in love with each other for two years. Madly. It was he who separated me from God. After God, I saw everything only through him. He was the only one I listened to. And he was everything to me. And then one day, God was not there anymore. Only him. Only him. And one day, he lied. What would you say if I told you that they're going to put me in a mental hospital in Versailles? I'd say you're right. Well, I've answered you. So I am mad? What would you say if I ask you if I am mad? I'd say yes again. So you're talking to a mad woman? Yes. Well, why ask me where I put the head? Maybe I don't remember where I put it. I've forgotten the exact spot. Just a vague indication of a word. Forest. Bank. Why? To say it. To you. 
Yes. As a souvenir? Yes. No. You hear? But there are lots of things that I haven't told you. Would you like to know what they are? No. Well, that's too bad. If I had been able to tell you where the head is, would you go on talking to me? No. You've given up. That's it? Yes. If I had managed to tell you why I killed this big fat deaf woman, would you go on talking to me? No, I don't think so.